Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Lupita. Carmen. Happy New Year. It has been a while. It's been a really long time. Since uh, back in the year we shall not mention. It never existed. It never existed. But we, we still kind of living in a pandemonium. I thought we were living in a pyramid. No, girl. We living in a pandulce. <gasps> I thought the pandulce would be over by now. I know, right? Me too. I miss life before the predicament. Anyway, just wear a mask and do your part. Wash your hands. Don't be nasty. Ew. Gross. So today we thought we would tell a couple stories. They're kind of random. They have no substance to it, but if you want to watch, you can still continue to watch. We're just gonna um, tell the stories. And if you like the stories, you can probably give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. You can subscribe if you want to. Put the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, so. Let's get started. All right, uh, I got my notes app here and I just reading over some of the stories that we've written down when like after they happen, they're kind of random, but it's fine. 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 Anyway, so um, apparently there's like videos made about us and um, we usually like don't know how to react to like when that happens. So we kind of just like comment sometimes, hey, that's us. And I guess other people don't really know it's us or like are like it's saying it's not us and we're just catfishing or we're just pretending to be ourselves. We're not conjoined. We're not conjoined. It's it's all a hoax. This is all an illusion. You guys are seeing things. It's all your fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and um so there's a comment that said one day, you're just pretending to be them. You're not actually conjoined. It's not funny. And it's like, oh, well, yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, oh no, you've exposed this. I also saw a comment one day. They were like, I saw another YouTube channel of them. And I'm like, I have another YouTube channel. Yeah, right? Like, I've never known. They have more subscribers. That's what it said. And I was like, what's going on here? I'm sorry. They're capitalizing off of us and we, we have less subscribers. That's rude. That's rude. That is so rude. But I do love our subscribers. So uh, basically, like I, we were just like thinking in our heads, or like just commenting back, just going, "Ah, yes, sh sh you're f you freaking exposed us. We've been fooling people this entire time. We can in fact walk away from each other. Get out." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was impressive. It was. It really was. I'm impressive. <laughs> So one time we were in Dunkin Donuts and we were just like waiting in line like people do. Duh. Oh my gosh. And we were just like looking at our phone and like not really bothering anybody because like why would we bother anybody when we're in line? And it was like seven o'clock in the morning waiting for our first class to start. And this lady in front of us like looks at us, like she looks at us, turns around and then looks at us again in like shock, which is fine. Like, cause you don't see conjoined twins every day, which is understandable, I get that. But she, it took zero dollars to not like say anything at like six o'clock in the morning. I thought it was seven. It was like six. Oops, I don't have time. And she was like, you guys must not have that much privacy between you two. It's like, yeah, thank you lady. I didn't realize that. After 19 years of living. Right? I don't know, it was. It took her zero dollars to say that. But she said it anyway. Exactly. Yep. All right, next story. Story number... I don't remember. Ah, it doesn't matter at this point anyway. All right, so we look young, I think, right? Yeah. Apparently that's what people think. And uh, we look a little younger than what our actual age is. We're 20. We're 20. Five months. 21. 21? 21. Anyway, so um, I guess we look around the ages of about 12 to 15, which I get it, it, it I get it. It's it's gonna be such a compliment when we're older, but right now it kind of hurts just, just a little bit. It's fine though. It's fine. But one day we went out to Chili's with our friend Janine. Hi, welcome to Chili's. This was pre pan dulce. Yes. And uh, so we went to Chili's and we were waiting for a little bit to like obviously get seated and everything. And the the host was like, oh, do you want a kid's menu for your little sisters? 
and <laughs> we're only a month apart yeah we're only a month apart of like age difference and she was like um no thank you and she looked at us and no i don't know they they looked at us and we were like um we're okay thank you though and they were like oh they're so cute and i'm like oh thank you but i'm still you know 19 20 at the time thank you for the compliment appreciate it but still kind of hurt because we are a little older than um kids menu age a lot older than <laughs> kids menu age stop <laughs> oh my god so another like story we have about people mistaking us for being really young was when we were about i guess it was like we were 13 or 14 yeah and we went out with my dad and my older sister and we went to go get um pan dulce at this bakery that was maybe a half an hour away and this lady came up to us and she was really nice and everything she recognized our family because i guess she knew us or like she knew of us or something like that uh, the details are foggy, but all I remember was she was like, oh my gosh, how old are they? Like, and we kind of said her age, we were like 13 or 14. And she was like, oh, I thought you guys just turned 10. And we were like, no, we were like teenagers now. And the lady looked at my, my sister and she goes, wow, your daughters are amazing. <laughs> we're only five years apart. Yeah, us and our elder sister, we're only like five years difference. And she goes, yeah, no, they're um, they're my sisters. And she was like, oh my gosh. And she was like, okay, that makes a lot more sense because you look really young and they look really young. Cause I was just imagining how old you would be to have like these, your daughters like this. And I'm like, please lady, please stop talking. You're just digging yourself a hole. And my dad looks pretty young too, but he's like old as heck. What would you call my father old? I call him viejo. That's a good ass point. That's a good point. But I can call him that. You can't call him that. I call him that. What are we talking about? I don't remember. I don't even remember at this point. Are we telling a story? Yes. Uh, anyway, the lady was digging herself a hole and then she just was like so uncomfortable that she left. And I was like, oh, well, that was weird. This isn't really much of a story, but we just like, we wanted to share with y'all. Um, so when we were like seniors in high school, obviously you had to do like the whole senior quote thing and do the senior pictures. And we did not want to do it, but we had to, we, we did it. And so like we waited until the last possible minute to do the senior quote. And so I didn't, I couldn't think of anything inspiring or like anything funny to really do. So um, I kind of just wrote down on the piece of paper to give to the yearbook committee, just going, uh, conjoined twins are like getting two for the price of one or something like that. And Lapita's senior quote was, shut up, Carmen. So there's that. Well, it was kind of dumb. It was dumb, but I, you think I really cared about like a senior quote? No. So I put shut up, Carmen. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. So one time we went walking with our dog um, to a nearby park and there was like a little walking trail thingy. So we were just kind of like walking and it was like summer and we had like a little backpack that had all of like the water bowl and like treats and all that stuff. And it was fine. And our dog's a Shih Tzu. And so like he'll get tired a little bit easily, but it was only like a mile that we were walking. And so we said to ourselves, um, once we reached that like end of the walking trail, which at the end of the mile, we were just gonna stop and relax and give him water and everything. And there's shade in the walk, on uh, like in the end of the walking trail, which is fine. And so um, we're like halfway there and Toby's starting to pant a little bit. And there is this lady, this lady it was so annoying. She stops us and she goes, what kind of dog is that? And I was like, a Shih Tzu. And she goes, he needs water. You're like, you're trying to like um, dehydrate him. And we were like, uh, well, once we reach the end of the, the trail, we will give him water, thank you. And she goes, you don't even have water with you. Like, where's the water? Where's the water bowl? And we were like, we, we have it, thank you. And then she was like, you also need to give him shade right now. And we're like, well, there's no shade right now. So we should go where the shade is, right? And then she was like, please take care of that dog. And we were like, 
Okay, have a nice day. We reach the end of the, the like the little walking trail and we start um, giving him water and everything. He's sitting down, he's, he's all good in the shade. And we were just like, we were also just chilling. And this lady comes up to us. She was like at like a dock at the end of the river or whatever. And she was like, oh, what kind of dog is that? And we were like, it's a Shih Tzu. And then she looks up at us, just completely surprised that we like of our existence, which is fine. And she goes, wow. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> and she goes, I know that you guys are sisters, but are you twins? And we were like, yeah, we are. And she goes, wow. So you're stuck together, right? And we were like, yeah, we are. And she was like, that's amazing. And then she called her entire family over and we were like, all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna skedaddle now. Have a nice day. And then she was like, but can I take a picture with you guys? And we're like, uh, thank you, but no, thank you. And then she was like, oh, okay. But I just never seen people like that. And I was just curious. Listen, people. Curiosity does not equal out that you're being rude. So, and weird. And um, when you say, I'm just being curious, it doesn't negate the fact if you ask like an offensive or you say something weird or you like make a weird comment. Or dumb. Or, d or just a plain dumb comment. I'm just telling you if you ever say something in the future. I'm just saying right now. So um, we, we're like walking back to our house um, and the same lady that we went across the first time, she was like, so did you give him water? And we were like, yeah in our bag and we, she was like let me see so we had to pull out an empty water bottle and we we're like all right have a nice day and then she was like i'm just checking we're like okay damn but i i guess you're like freaking paw patrol now <laughs> i know right i'm just hilarious you are hilarious i'm hilarious i'm more hilarious how dare you yes all right cool cool but anyway, I don't know. I just, that story really made me mad, but I, looking back at it, it was kind of funny at the time, but it was also kind of annoying, but it's fine. Okay, next story. Next story. So when we were in high school, um, we had a friend that we've known since we were five years old. We're still friends with her. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so um, he, was he's the only one that could really like make fun of us or like tease us or like make jokes about us because you know we've been friends for that long and everything and it's not like we get offended by everything if other people do it it's just more of a it's kind of weird it's less weird when he does it I, if that makes sense yes yes anyway so um every morning he just kind of come up to us and he'd just be like you guys are like two peas in a pod and we're like no idiot we literally are two peas in a pod and he'd say it so often that uh, one day there was um, the, I guess, state newspaper or like the local newspaper uh, did a story about us and they wanted to interview a friend. So we obviously chose him. And he was, he said it and it was so funny. He was like, uh, you know, they just like go around and, and they just do their thing. They're like two peas in a pod. And <laughs> I lost my mind. And he was like, yo, I can't believe I said that. I'm like, I can. You say it so often, it's pretty much instinct. It was amazing. Love that guy. What a guy. Anyway, next Anyways, story. the next story. <laughs> <laughs> so our last story that we're probably gonna tell is um, just to preface, my parents are so cute and they try to do everything they can for us and we really do appreciate it. So when we were about six or seven, we wanted to um, be princesses for Halloween and like every little girl does. Of course. And so we asked my mom ahead of time, hey, can we have a princess dress made for us um, so we can be princesses for Halloween? Of course, what was I trying to say? The obvious. And <laughs> so my mom um, says, yeah, of course. And so she goes to Joanne's and she, <laughs> she gets fabric to make us like a princess dress in a way, she gets the fabric and so she tells the seamstress to make it like a kind of like a surprise. So like we see it at the end so we can like try it on and everything to see if it fits. She makes it and like she's like, surprise! 
Surprise, Shotty! Surprise, Shotty! We're on TikTok too much. Yeah, we are. And it was a dress with a bunch of the Disney princesses on it, but it's just like a regular dress. And I, I remember being so disappointed, but I was also just like, oh, thank you. We can be princesses now. And it was so funny because we went to like this little like, I guess it was like second or third grade um, little Halloween dance. And they're like, what are you supposed to be? And we're like, princesses. And they were like, you have princess on your dress though. And we're like, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We just don't talk about it. But she tried. She really did try. And I thought that was so cute. And I appreciate her to this day. That was, it was adorable. That's it. That was the final story. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, I'm sorry they weren't really that funny. I thought they were kind of funny. I thought they were kind of funny. Uh, we just like to share random stories sometimes. Um, sharing is caring. Is it though? Sometimes. Well, not if we're in the middle of this predicament. Can we mold them? I think, stop sharing the Pandora's box virus. Duh. Just, just stab it. Get some help. The doctor cannot help us in this situation. Anyways. Anyway, um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want, you can turn on the notification bell to let you know every time we upload. And please subscribe, because like uh, we've been noticing a lot of the viewers aren't subscribed. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but we'd really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Please do it. It, it pays our school that's pretty much it <laughs> but uh hope you have a good year and we'll be back eventually probably next week probably i don't know well peace out it was your girl lapita carmen and we'll see you soon bye, bye.